the biggest problem with modems is the fact that they're invisible. It's kind of like a lighting designer in a movie or in a play. Once you notice the light, it's usually when something's wrong. It's not when something's going really well. When you're designing a modem, you want it to be as visible and seamless as possible to the end users. When people use their phone and they're talking, they're thinking about talking and the fact that the quality is, is perfect or, or not good, or the video is stuttery or not. And, and when everything works well, you're not really thinking about the modem underneath. When you're testing in the field, um, Qualcomm engineer is always looking for the most challenging places in the field, where networks converge, where there's, where the, the real boundaries are the, the most challenging environment for a modem to be, and then also understand what the most normal environment is, and then measure how the modem operates in those environments. It's not just looking at how a modem operates in San Diego, that's where I live, but it's looking at how it how it operates in China, how it operates in India, how it operates in, in Europe, and, and what are the differences in each of these locations. And a lot of times you have to measure quite a few times, hundreds of times, and take data over a, a large sample space so you have enough statistical information to allow you to really understand how the modem is working. The modem is kind of the heartbeat. It's the blood system of how these cellular phone systems work.